In this video, revealing how to make money with the metaverse and how complete beginners are gonna make $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So as of recently, this video started blowing up about the metaverse. Just check it out. You actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, it's literally a place where, you know, Facebook is just pivoting into, you know, augmented reality and virtual reality so that your day-to-day -day life, you're just like literally doing this and it's just an iPad, but without the actual iPad, it's just up and running in your face and it's like a hologram that you could essentially connect with and, and work with. And it's not just that, you can even really press it, put on your VR glasses and then just teleport to wherever it is that you just pressed on the thing. It's kind of like pretty insane, right? Essentially what he wants to do is he wants to go ahead and combine you know, virtual reality with the physical reality that we are in right now. Now, when you have crazy things that happen just like that, not only do you have something that's insane and it's huge for technological advancement, you also have a lot of big opportunities to, for example, make money. And this isn't just, you know, like as of recently, this, if you literally look at history, has always been the case. For example, the British go and find the Americans or they find America. It's literally all this like naked land and they go ahead and build businesses and the first families that went and built on America, they were some of the most wealthiest people because they just had free reign and had like the most opportunity, right? Because they had all this land. Think about like, for example, like I just saw this movie, Crazy Rich Asians, right? Where like the, the people that were so rich were because, you know, their parents were the ones that went to Singapore when it was literally just like malaria infested swamplands and then turned it into all of the crazy things, right? So there's this always a huge opportunity whenever you're kind of like first to do something. Same thing happened to people that got started in Facebook ads in like 2013 or 2015. When I got started in Facebook ads, literally I was not the smartest person in the world, but yet because I was in an opportunity before it actually went crazy. It literally went from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. And like I said, it's just what happens when a new thing ends up happening. And understanding how to kind of like navigate through the water can literally make or break if you make a bunch of money or not. And what I wanna share with you is not only like several ways to make money, uh, for example, with the metaverse, especially as it matures, but how I'm currently gonna go ahead and leverage it and take the business that's already succeeding for me or generating, you know, $1,000 plus per day, as you can see, um, from like the income from just like one of my businesses and just pivoting it into there, right? Let's actually break it down. If you're a complete beginner, and you're, 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 you're kind of like FOMOing out. You're like, oh my God, you have this fear of missing out because everyone's talking about the metaverse and you have no idea what the heck it is and you don't understand it and you don't want to miss out on op an opportunity that could potentially change your life. Uh, so you, like, one of the things you don't want to do is just go into things blind, right? So what would you do if you have no idea or experience whatsoever? Well, before we actually go over the ways to make money with it, number one, you have to first be a user of the product, right? It's very hard to invest in something that you don't understand. And I'm telling you this right now, for me, it was very hard, for example, when the crypto thing first blew up, for me to invest in projects just because it sounded cool, but for me to not, not actually understand it. And Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, some of the best investors and, and business owners of the entire planet, right? They say that you want to go ahead and figure out what your zone of genius and your circle of competency is and get really good at that, right? So before we get into that, like really do your research and understand what the heck the metaverse is, right? And understand that all it really is, it's a uh, iteration of the internet where it's essentially, instead of you logging into something or a laptop or like an iPad, it's essentially like kind of integrated with reality itself. They use VR, virtual reality, augmented reality, and there's already platforms like, for example, VR Chat or Second Life, where this already exactly happens. Does that make sense? And when that new frontier opens up, what are the ways that people are making money with this? Well, the first way is pretty much obvious. If you're not smart, if you don't have any skills, then you just invest in the people that are smart and have those skills. Now, even though this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, investing in anything is like risky. The first way is, like I said, if you are not smart, if you do not have any experience, sometimes it's just better to go ahead and, for example, invest in people that are smart and have that, right? That's why when you literally go ahead and look at Fool, uh, they literally talk about the top ones to go ahead and invest in to make money if you don't have any skills whatsoever or any experience, right? The first one is NVIDIA, which as you can see, they're um, a great gaming play, a self-driving car technology as well. Uh, but as you can see, their biggest things is their processing units are gold standard in powering virtual reality games. And on top of that, they've already launched 
you know, a metaverse style platform in 2019. So they're already proven to work and they already have some success in the past. So some of the best things to actually get into is if you already have people that have a proven track record. Like for example, Elon Musk, he already had like SpaceX and Tesla and Solar City. So whatever project that he probably gets into, it's probably a, like, it's, I wouldn't say safe bet because any investment is risky, but you bet on like the leader instead of the actual idea. Does it make sense? The second thing of course is like just throwing the money into Facebook. Like I said, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but you gotta understand how, for example, valuable it could be when you are early. Like for example, so many people try investing in certain apps on the Apple store, but what if you could invest in the Apple store on the breaking level? We already know that Facebook is really, really successful. We already know Facebook has a lot of money backing it and really good leadership to go ahead and keep on growing their business, right? So it's almost like easy to say that what they're doing right now, they already have the infrastructure, the users, all of like the people that are already good at what they do, and they've been investing in VR like over and over again every single year. Like it's one of their biggest investments that they're literally doing a bunch of research in. So that would essentially be like investing in the Apple store before the Apple store became the Apple store. As long as you have some type of certainty that Facebook can actually capitalize on what they say they are going to capitalize. And the next one is just like Unity software where it's talking about like content right now. So like the first level of actually making money is getting in early on an idea. Now, of course, this could also be the riskiest way to make money with the metaverse, because like I said, this is just an idea right now. You don't see grandmas and grandpas like walking around in VR sets, like doing the hall holograms yet. One of the hardest things to actually go ahead and do, and this was the problem with VR in the past, is uh, people, like when VR and virtual reality first came out, everyone was so excited, right? But it was so much in the future of like where the rest of the world was, it was too far in the adoption curve, right? So any product, business, or idea will have this product like adoption curve where literally no one knows about it, no one knows about it, no one knows about it. A little bit of people know about it, a little bit of people know about it. Now people are starting to tell about it, now it hits critical mass and your mom and your grandma know about it, right? The best time to go ahead and get into an opportunity is actually right before it takes off, not when it's all the way over here because you gotta be patient for like, you know, several years or decades, right? And in that time that you were patient, you also had an opportunity cost of missing out on opportunities that could have made you easier money. Does that make sense? Which leads us to the next step, and that's just then being patient and understanding when is the perfect time to actually jump in on it. Because another thing, the second way to go ahead and make money with the metaverse is becoming one of the first users that really gets more users to be a part of it, right? Uh, the reason why is because there's not that much competition and you're almost like the only uh, alternative. Peter Thiel talks about it. He's like, you wanna get into business? Well, you're kind of like the only alternative. So even if you're not the best, people are gonna go to you, right? It's like if we're gonna open up a hot dog stand, right, and you are able to do whatever, you could make the best hot dogs, you could make the biggest hot dogs, the only thing that I would want to require, even if I had the crappiest hot dogs, is if I could have a starving market. Meaning if I'm like in front of a bar at 2 a.m. when all the you know restaurants are closed, and even though I have crappy uh, you know hot dogs, they're still gonna buy because it's the only option, right? And that's essentially what happened like with influencers on certain platforms, like for example, TikTok. Right? There wasn't that much you know, influences on TikTok. So the people that were early, that were just kind of like a little bit special, but not too much special, ended up blowing up. Like you could see that's what, for example, happened to the Diamilo family. They were just normal, ordinary people, I think from like Arkansas, not Arkansas, but like New Hampshire or like some like Northeastern place in America. Just like your typical average person that's just like dance, right? Like normal person. And then ended up blowing up to getting over 129 million followers and her net worth blew up to like 8 million, right? Just because she was early in play, right? But again, remember, you don't wanna to be too early because I remember there was this app that was blowing up here in Bali, it was called Clubhouse, right? Where everyone's like, get in a Clubhouse, get in a Clubhouse. Like, everyone was talking about Clubhouse and now I don't hear anyone talking about Clubhouse. So another thing is, like I said, you wanna pick the opportunity, but don't be too early uh, where you know, you're just wasting your time. Jay Alvarez was kinda of like this for Instagram, right? He was the first person to like post pictures of him in Bali and traveling, and that's kinda of like what got him so much followers because he was kinda of like the only person doing that on Instagram. Now everyone is doing it on Instagram, so it doesn't make it as special. And this is kinda of like what accidentally happened to me on YouTube. I was just making content on YouTube, making content on YouTube, and I kid you not, it wasn't until I started talking about Shopify did I get like half a million views in like a couple of weeks, and I was like, what the heck? And ever since that video, my life forever changed because I was early 
to a trend. And this is something that you guys gotta take into account when the metaverse is coming in. Sometimes just being early and waiting and seeing what are the opportunities going in, that's like one of the best ways to go ahead and think about it, right? And one of the best opportunities to understand is you guys gotta see what are the influencers doing? Because when the influencers, like for example, this girl or this guy, go ahead and make you know a change and start you know doing things, for example, in the metaverse and selling products and services, that's when you know is actually a very lucrative time to actually hop on, right? And what my business model is, it's like just an advertising play. So essentially my business model is, is I wanna go and find an ad platform like Facebook, YouTube, Google, where I wanna spend $1 and then turn that into $3 by selling products that I don't have to create. So it's affiliate marketing, right? Where you could essentially find products, like for example, on ClickBank for free, where you could actually, if I literally go ahead and click on this, there's literally a bunch of supplements and physical products and digital products that are paying out $114 per commission, right? And it's exactly how people in our community, like Dina at age 47 or Greg at age 58, or even Francisco from Chile, where the average income is $500 a month, go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks with products that they don't have to create. So the opportunity is, is when influencers start moving into the metaverse, right? There's gonna be like an ad platform where essentially allows you to sell products or services or other people's products and services um, in the form of commerce, because that's how money's generated. Someone goes ahead and buys a product for exchange of you know a product, or someone creates you know the network, like for example, you know, Jay Alvarez, right, who charges twenty thousand dollars per post. And a business would essentially pay him 20 grand to go ahead and borrow his audience to sell their product, right? So it's either you sell a product or you create you know, a network where you can sell advertisement to businesses so that they can sell their product. And that's essentially how businesses is. So when Metaverse kind of like hits you know, that tipping point, which is right here, they're gonna open up an ad platform. There's probably gonna be a bunch of like influencers that are now selling their products and services. That's the past time to actually jump in for me, even though this is financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, to go ahead and turn this $1 in products that I don't have to sell to $3. And like I said, it's the exact same business model that people in our community go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks right now. It's even the exact same business model that allows me, as you can see, today we pulled in five grand, and even a couple days ago we pulled in like five grand, and the day before we, we pulled in like, was that like 10 grand, right? Uh, and that's just understanding the opportunity when it actually hits, but right now, in my opinion, I feel like the metaverse is a little bit too early, and sometimes when you're way too early, you might have to take decades before your opportunity actually comes. And right now there's actually a brand new opportunity where it's actually hitting this part right here. And that's exactly how all these people are going from zero to 30 grand a month in five day weeks with no experience whatsoever because it's just way in the beginning of the adoption curve. And if you wanna know what that opportunity is, just sign up for this week's free workshop below as well as check out this video on this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps. Love you guys, see you guys later. Woo!